Welcome to our virtual classroom. This is Teacher Davy, and I'm happy that you're here today. We will be starting this lesson with a drill. Simplify the following expressions. First, we have 4 squared. 4 squared is equal to 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. Next, we have 7 squared, which is equal to 7 times 7, that is 49. For the third number, we have quantity 2x squared, that is 2x times 2x, which is equal to 4x squared. Next is quantity x squared y squared, which is equal to x squared y times x squared y, which when simplified is equal to x to the fourth y squared. For the last number, we have quantity m over 8 squared. That is m over 8 times m over 8, which when simplified is equal to m squared over 64. The quantities 16, 49, 4x squared, x to the fourth y squared, and m squared over 64 are perfect squares. Obviously, perfect squares results from quantities being multiplied by itself. Now, these quantities with which we obtain our perfect squares from are called square roots. How is it? The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 49 is 7. The square root of 4x squared is 2x and so on and so forth. And why did we have to go back to the concept of perfect squares and square roots? It's because remembering those topics will be of great help in dealing with today's lesson, which is factoring polynomials that are difference of two squares. Difference of two squares are binomials in the form a squared minus b squared. These are binomials with patterns which can easily be observed. And what are these patterns? First, there are only two terms. Second, the first and last terms are perfect squares. And the third, the operation between the terms is subtraction. Hence, the word difference. To factor, you simply get the square root of each term, then write the factorization as the sum and difference of those square roots. Thus, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Example 1. Factor x squared minus 4. Before factoring in this form, make sure that the terms to be factored conforms with the pattern mentioned earlier. And what's our pattern again? First, are there only two terms? Second, are the first and last term perfect squares? And third, is the operation between the terms subtraction? Since it is a yes to these three questions, we can now start factoring. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 4 is 2. Therefore, x squared minus 4 is equal to the square root of x squared, that's x, the square root of 4, that is 2. One factor should be addition, and the other factor, subtraction. Now, x squared minus 4 is equal to x plus 2 times x minus 2. Example 2. Factor 4x squared minus 49. Just like what we did with the previous example, we need to check first if the given falls with our pattern. Two terms, check. First and last terms, perfect squares, check. And the operation is subtraction, check. Therefore, we can now start factoring. The square root of 4x squared is 2x, and the square root of 49 is 7. Now, 4x squared minus 49 is equal to the square root of 4x squared, that is 2x, 
the root of 49, that is 7. One factor should be addition and the other one subtraction. Therefore, 4x squared minus 49 is equal to 2x plus 7 multiplied by 2x minus 7. Example 3. Factor 64x squared y to the 4th minus 81 z squared. Since the given falls with our pattern, we will now start factoring. The square root of 64x squared y to the 4th is 8xy squared. And the square root of 81z squared is 9z. Now, 64x squared y to the 4th minus 81z squared is equal to the square root of 64x squared y to the 4th, that is 8x y squared, the square root of 81z squared, that is 9z. One factor is addition and the other factor subtraction. Therefore, 64x squared y to the 4th minus 81z squared is equal to 8xy squared plus 9z multiplied by 8xy squared minus 9z. Example 4. Factor 18a cubed minus 72ab squared completely. Though the given is a binomial and the operation between them is subtraction, this cannot be factored using difference of two squares method since 18a cubed and 72ab squared are not perfect squares. But looking at both terms, they noticeably have common factors. So we will start by factoring it first using the common monomial factor method, a topic which was discussed prior to this. Now we'll see what will happen. Going back to the given, 18a cubed minus 72ab squared has a common factor that is 2a. So that will be 2a multiplied by 9a squared minus 36b squared. One of the factors is difference of two squares, and so we'll have to factor for the second time. The square root of 9a squared is 3a, and the square root of 36b squared is 6b. And so, 18a cubed minus 72ab squared is equal to 2a multiplied by 3a and 3a. We also have 6b and 6b. Now, one is addition and the other one subtraction. Finally, we have 18a cubed minus 72ab squared is equal to 2a multiplied by 3a plus 6b multiplied by 3a minus 6b. Thank you for watching.